Hi guys, so today I'm gonna be doing a perfume video, honey. I am here today to give you my top favorite perfumes and if you're looking to give a gift to someone for um, a birthday, you cannot go wrong with a perfume or a cologne. So um, the perfumes I'm gonna be talking about today are from a website called fragrancenet.com, which is where I got all of my perfumes from. They discount their perfumes so you can get them cheaper than you can at the department store or like Sephora or like a, um, the drugstore or whatever because I know in Canada they have like a huge boutique where you can get designer perfumes Perfumes, but in like Walgreens and stuff they don't have that so if you're a perfume junkie like I am and you're trying to get your fix of perfumes check out fragrance.com and all the ones in this video are obviously going to be from the website they have like 16,000 perfumes so get strapped in before you go on the website make sure you have a little bit of a list aka just write down everything I talk about in the video so the first perfume I'm gonna be talking about is one from my past I used to say on my YouTube channel that this one was my favorite one but not really anymore. I mean, it's still one of my favorites, but it's not the favorite anymore. I've grown up, I've matured, I've found bigger and better things, things that smell better and more luxurious, you dig? Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture. I used to love this packaging, it's so gorgeous. I mean, I, I, what am I talking about? I, I still love this packaging. It's just not very mature. It's kind of like teenager, um, like high school. Like I said, this was one of my favorites in high school, like the pink sugar days. But I love how there's like gold all over it. There's a pink bow and like a huge jewel, like diamond thing up here going on. It just smells very vanilla-y, very candy-like. So yeah, that's my Juicy Couture. And these are in no particular order, by the way. I just kind of have them here. This is one that was, let's get real, made for me with a Gigi on the on the front. Okay, this is really annoying showing this like this. Gucci Guilty, um, which I love. It kind of smells like baby powder. Um, everyone and their mother has told me that this just smells like baby powder, but I really don't really agree with that. I mean, I think that it smells like a luxurious baby powder. This is 75 ml, yep. I love it, it's super gaudy, super gold, super out there. It like reflects off of everything. It's, it's like a straight up mirror, so love that. A new one to my collection that I've never ever tried before and it's actually one of my favorites now and that's why I only got the 30 ml of it because it was like, I was just trying it out. I was on the website, I was like, yeah, I'll try this. DKNY Be Delicious and it looks like this. It looks like something from space or something, and I tried to get this sticker off, and I can not do it. Like, uh, 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 acrylic problems. The big one, I'm pretty sure you just spray it down, like you spray on the top of it, but since I got the cheap version, um, you have to take the top off like that. So it's kind of just like only that big. It's like literally a tester size. But um, this is in the shape of an apple, so it smells like apple. Let me spray. I mean, all I can smell right now is Gucci Guilty. Woo! Mmm, yeah, it smells like, um, I don't know if, if they have Granny Smith apples where you guys are from, but I remember when um, I was younger and my family used to buy, like, tons of Granny Smith apples for us. This smells like straight up Granny Smith apples. It's kind of cool and different to have one that smells like an apple because I've never had one like that before, so... Next is my ultimate favorite. I'll just get this out of the way. I know you guys don't want to hear this again from me. I love this fragrance. It's like an issue. It's the YSL Manifesto, and this is the largest bottle you can get this in. I'm pretty sure that this is the 100 ml, 90 ml. Through, I've gone through probably about six bottles of this. I'm not kidding, and I just found out about this fragrance like eight months ago. You guys trust my opinion, right? This is my favorite, and I'm telling you that this smells the best, but I've gotten so many tweets from you guys saying that you guys don't like this. I mean, maybe, maybe it's one of those things where you need to smell it again, because seriously, get your senses checked. This is stunning. Ugh! Yes, let's drown out all the other smells with this. This just reminds me of so many trips I've taken because I take this with me, obviously. So many boys. We all know Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue, at least I hope we all know people. But there's a new one that came out and this one kind of took me by surprise. Like at the bottom, as you can see, it says Dreaming in Portofino. Light Blue has a frosted bottle so you can't see like right through it how you can right now. And the top is um, this frosted kind of plastic. Um, but in a blue color. And I remember on the website, I saw that it was limited edition or whatever, so I was like, oh, I have to pick it up. Maybe it smells a little bit different. This literally smells so good. Like, it doesn't really smell like light blue at all. No, it smells like, um, you know what? Let me look up what fragrance, what notes are in this. Light blue dreaming in Portofino begins with fresh lychee a cord and embret seed that lead to the rich floral heart of creamy iris and intense osmanthus. Notes of amber... 
patchouli, a musk leaf, and velvety trail in the perfume's base. Okay, like that's why I don't read the notes because they don't make sense, but it seems like there's a bunch of stuff from nature in this one, so definitely check that out. Next up is Hugo Boss's Orange. This is a 75 ml. This is actually massive. This is a very everyday fragrance. The other fragrances that I've been talking about are kind of night out fragrances or um, if you're going on a date or if you are just dressed up and you want to be a little bit extra. This is kind of just for running errands, just for having something on my body. It's obviously citrusy because orange is has citrus in it or is citrusy. I don't even know what citrus is. It's very strong. You don't need much of this. It just smells clean. It smells like you're, you just got out of the shower. But yeah, that is all for my top seven fragrances that you need right this second. Go on fragrancenet.com and they actually provide free shipping on US orders over $59 and there's a 15% discount code GRS4X. So now is the time to buy new fragrances if ever and that coupon code expires on Valentine's. Ow! My, my click clacker harmed me. Make sure to get all your fragrances in check, girl, because on Valentine's Day, we want to be smelling good or you want to be getting your boyfriend a fragrance or boys, if you're watching this, you want to be getting your girlfriend a fragrance. Trust me, they will love you forever. Obviously, a perfume and roses, duh, and like dinner or whatever. Uh, but yeah, that is all that I have to talk about today for my fragrances. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Leave your favorite fragrance. If I did not include it in this video, down in the comments, I would love to know. I'd love to expand my collection, duh. And until I see you guys next time, stay gorgeous.